Hello, dear students. The topic of our lesson is life in Britain. Today we'll speak about British symbols. Open your books on page 134, exercise 1. Let's start with thematic words. Read and repeat after me. A thistle, a rose, a shamrock, a leek, a red dragon, a daffodil. Now try to answer true or false. Great Britain is divided into countries. The kilt is Scotland's national costume. Loch is the Welsh word for lake. Snowdon is a high mountain in Wales. Cardiff is the capital of Scotland. Northern Ireland is also called Ulster. The dragon is the symbol of Northern Ireland. Rugby is a popular sport in Wales. Moors are areas of wild open countryside. Oxford is situated on the River Thames. 11. St. George is the patron of Wales. The Rathry crosses on the British flag. The north of Scotland is famous for its developed industry. The capital of Northern Ireland is Dublin. The tartan is a checked cloth. Now check yourselves. Last lesson, we have learned the rules of using the definite article the with the geographical names. Fill in the articles where it's necessary. Northern Ireland, Union Jack, Strait of Dora, Cardiff, Scots, Scottish, Belfast, Irish Sea, English Channel, Atlantic Ocean, British Isles, Wales, United Kingdom, Ireland. Now check yourselves. OK, now it's time to speak about British symbols. First, look at the map of United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. You know, that the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland consists of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Each country in Britain has its own patron saint and floral emblem. The Tudor Rose is the national floral emblem of England and symbolizes the end of the war of the roses.
The national flower of Scotland is the thistle. Thistle is a pickly leaved purple flower which was firstly used in the 15th century as a symbol of defense. The thistle has been a Scottish symbol for more than 500 years. It was found on ancient coins and coats of arms. The national flower of Wales is the daffodil, which is traditionally worn on St. David's Day. The national flower of Northern Ireland is the shamrock, the three-leaved plant similar to clover. It is a symbol of Trinity. The Union Jack is the flag of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The United Kingdom flag was officially adopted on the 1st of January 1801. The flag of the United Kingdom is a combination of the flags of England, the cross of St. George, Scotland, the cross of St. Andrew, and Ireland, the cross of St. Patrick. The flag of Scotland is St. Andrew's Cross. Dating to the 12th century, the historic cross of St. Andrew was first hoisted in 1512. Also known as the Psalter, it is one of the oldest country flags. The Psalter is a flag with a diagonal cross whose arms extend to the corners of the flag. The flag of England is St. George Cross and the flag of Ireland is St. Patrick Cross. Look at the royal banner of the King or Queen of the United Kingdom today. The Royal Banner of England Scottish Royal Banner The Royal Flag of Scotland, or Rampart Lion, features a traditional red line on a gold field, widely used as a second national flag. The Gold Harp David's Harp was the national banner of Ireland for many centuries. The Welsh Flag This flag was officially adopted in 1959, but the Red Dragon, possibly Roman in origin, has been associated with Wales for many centuries. The green and white background strips represent the House of Tudor, a Welsh dynasty that once held the English throne.
The United Kingdom Royal Court of Arms. Герб Соединенного Королевства. Unofficial coat of arms. The three lions is the unofficial crest of England and was first used by Richard I in the late 12th century. Other British symbols. Tartan. Tartans are international recognized symbol of Scotland. Highlands wore clothes with distinct striped or checked patterns. In the growth of clan and family, tartans became popular in the mid of the 18th British souvenirs. Now listen the United Kingdom anthem and compare with its translation. Now open your books on page 134, exercise 2. You are going to read a magazine article about people in Britain. Six sentences have been removed. Choose which sentences fit into the gaps. One sentence you need not to use. A. A red dragon is probably the oldest symbol of Wales. B. They like to speak Welsh, to sing songs in Welsh, and when you travel you can see road signs in Welsh all over Wales. C. 
Green is one of the symbols of Ireland, and everybody wears green on St. Patrick's Day, the Irish national holiday. D. The English are also famous for their love of animals. E. People from Scotland, Wales or Northern Ireland are not English. F. Traditional tartan skirts are called kilts, and many Scots wear them, women and men. G. Every country in the United Kingdom has got its own symbol. Now your task is to complete the chart about countries of the United Kingdom, England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Write about capital, people, language and symbol plant. Check yourselves. Exercise 3 on page 135. Read the sentences and tick England, Scotland, Wales, or Northern Ireland. There is more than one answer possible. In this country people are crazy about gardening. In this country you may see different shades and tones of green. In this country men wear skirts called the kilts. You can see a red dragon on the flag of this country. In this country, rugby is the national sport. The symbol of this country is a red rose. The most famous symbol of this country is the shamrock. In this country, there are many lakes called the lochs. People who live in this country don't like it when they are called English. These people are especially proud of their language. Now read the information about a British icon and answer the questions. What icon is it about? Why did the rose become the symbol of England? Why were many pubs and inns named the rose? What emblem do English rugby teams have on their badges? The rose. The national flower of England is the rose. No wonder so many people voted a national icon. It all started during the time of the Wars of the Roses, civil wars between the royal house of Lancaster, whose emblem was a red rose, and the royal house of York, whose emblem was a white rose. At the end of the war, the two roses were combined in the Tudor Rose. The idea belonged to Henry VII, the first Tudor monarch, and the father of Henry VIII. Henry was a Lancastrian, but he fell in love with Elizabeth of York, married her, and united the two houses. Looking for a symbol of this union, he chose a red rose with a white rose in it. During the Tudor period, hundreds of inns were named the Rose to show their loyalty to the royal family. There are still many pubs and hotels all over the country named after this flower. In 1871, the newly formed Rugby Football Union selected an England team to play the first over-international match against Scotland. 
The committee chose the Red Rose as the team's badge. Although England lost the match held in Edinburgh, the country's rugby team have won the roses over scenes. And now answer the questions, please. Thank you. And now your task is to complete the sentences. Check yourselves. That's all for today. Thank you for attention and thank you for your work.